Subscribe it, everybody. TikTok is cringe. And I'm 100% sure that all of you will agree with me. And then some of you will also agree that TikTok is amazing. Because it's both. I still think that even if, if it's amazing, it's cringe. Yep, yeah, there, there you go. There's the video. See, they even have to specify if it's a humor or if it's a cringe. But we know. If you have to explain this, that means something, okay? Beagle saves the day. Okay, listen, I'll admit this. Animals are not cringe unless... Because they're not aware. Until the person edits it. And then boom, it's cringe right away. Do I hate everything? And I don't hate everything because I don't hate you. Stop it. Get some help. It do be like that. Mom, I can't find the milk. Mom. <laughs> I've seen so many of these. This is also a problem with TikTok. There's a TikTok that goes really well and there's a joke in it. And then you, what everyone does is they just completely repeat it. And that's probably the TikTok's problem because they need to fix their algorithm. It's just the same TikTok redone by <laughs> a lot of the people. You know the TikTok where a nosy husband TikTok? But a girl is talking on the phone and pretending that she, she's like discussing some drama with someone and he's like, what? No, put it on speaker. And then there's like a lot of the couples that just do the same thing. It's so just hurts me physically. Nosy Hello? husband prank. Hello? Why are you crying? Hello? What? Hello? Nothing, just finish eating dinner. What are you doing? Oh my God, I cannot believe that. Oh my god, no she didn't. No. <gasps> oh my god, stop. stop. Do you need me to come get you? I mean, TikTok can still be cool if you're creative enough and you have skills. You can actually be great at anything if you're creative enough and you have skills. And I must say you're very lucky because I have exactly what you need for that. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. So aside from filming videos, I have actually always been interested in photography. I got very curious about this course by Andre D. Wagner called Street and Documentary Photography. I really like how he explains step by step how he makes his photos look so real and how he brings the story to the photos he makes. Skillshare is always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. Doesn't matter what your skill level is, whether you're a beginner or a professional, you will always discover new things to learn with Skillshare. When you join, you can try one of Skillshare's live classes, which means connecting with popular teachers, as well as watching and working along with other members. Skillshare offers membership with meaning. Connect with the support of fellow creatives and enter a community of encouragement, communication and inspiration. So guys, be quick because the first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Thank you so much to Skillshare. Now back to the video. Cringe downloaded TikTok for the first time and this was one of the first videos. The first videos, guys, if you download, if you're downloading TikTok, the first videos will be so terrible. They will, they will be so terrible. I had like <laughs> boomer workers from the shop in Ukraine film something unsynced until you filter it it's gonna be like that <laughs> not the worst video you can find on tiktok you know i would say that's pretty Exacted thing ever. What's up, guys? It's your boy back with another video on the YouTube channel. Now, before we get into any, what do you mean YouTube in 2021? It's YouTube always, always YouTube is like this. What do you mean 2021? <laughs> semblance of content. Make sure you mutilate the like button, comment, subscribe, and fuck your dad. This video is sponsored by Cunt VPN. Use promo code. I should start doing this. I like it. YouTubers are dope. Small stick. <laughs> I 
size, size doesn't matter. I keep telling you this, guys. Educational channel size doesn't matter. Also, I'm telling you, Animos is the only thing on the platform that is not cringe. <laughs> I'm also on TikTok, by the way. Check me out, by the way. And I'm not saying that I'm not cringe. I'm not an animal, right? So logically, if you think, I'm also cringe. Isn't that the truth? Humor. Excuse me, sir. Do you need some help today? Uh, yes, ma'am, I do, but I decided to come in here instead, so thank you. <laughs> I would call that wholesome. Spring cleaning. Humor. This isn't cringe. <laughs> well, we're gonna decide it by ourselves, okay? This is why we're here, to decide it. You're not gonna tell us what it is, and we're gonna decide it by ourselves. Ooh, what about some spring cleaning? You should really Marie Kondo this place. Marie Kondo? No, Marie Kondo. You know, the magic of tidying up. Oh yeah, the book everyone says they read and Netflix show they watch instead. <laughs> okay, so I'll hold items up, and you tell me if they spark joy. Yeah, okay. This cup, joy. This spatula, joy. This extension cord, joy. You know the point of this, right? To throw away, recycle, or donate things that no longer delight me. To thank them for- This is too long, and I can already say that this definitely isn't cringe, because making your vo voice sound weird is, uh, is funny. The man, the myth, the legend, humor. Ladies, this mustache isn't gonna write itself. Well, I mean, okay. Humor cringe. What would you do? What you gonna do if I broke into your house? Boop. That's what I'm gonna do. Boop. Any one of those bad boys. Boop, 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 boop. You're down. When I get this caught on anything, that's a life or death situation. You got a minefield on your face, my guy. Boop. Tell me I'm doing that one time and you're not blacking the fuck out. Oof. That's so annoying. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Being kind to a stranger, humor. Listen, if it's actually a stranger and you're bothering people outside, that's cringe. <laughs> hey man, uh, sorry to bother you. You don't know me, but I got these band-aids for you for your busted ass face. Oh. Thank you, man. Hey, uh, that's like, I'm just trying to do the right thing, just be a good member yeah. of my community. Wholesome. And, you know, I don't know what your deal is. Maybe you're a veteran, or maybe, maybe I don't know, maybe you were just born wrong. But I just wanted to, <laughs> I just thought I could help out. What? <laughs> yeah, I got you a bucket. Okay, I love that. But they made it too long, so that's cringe. <laughs> Wisdom. Discussion. One of the most profound things I've ever heard is you cannot hate yourself into a version that you love. Like you cannot judge, shame, and criticize yourself into a person that loves themselves. And when you say it out loud, it's like, well, yeah, like that's so fucking logical. But yet we're so ingrained in the pattern of judging, shaming, criticizing ourselves in order to get things done that that's how we often approach the journey to self-love and healing and self-improvement, etc. And so we have to- Is there anyone who like watched the video and was like, this video changed my life? Oh hell, humor slash cringe. <laughs> I was pregnant, thinking about all of the cute newborn pics I'll be able to take of my sweet girl to look back on. <laughs> Roommates. I'm not reading all of that. Thanks. Does my shirt smell weird? Wholesome. Hey, does my shirt smell weird? Life seems. <laughs> um, does my shirt smell weird? <laughs> <laughs> that is a good one. Oh. <laughs> what? Alright, oh, not cringe. Not cringe. Something is not cringe. Alright. 
Why are you staring at me? Show some respect. Is that my cousin over there? Let me wave at him and see if he notices. Look over there, Timothy. It's a native. He's blessing the land. Well, go stand up, Timothy. Take off your dang hat. Show some respect. This is such an honor. That was a great one. Never thought about it this way. Humor. Hey, welcome to the bank. Hey, here's your desk. Here's your phone. Here's the bank vault. Here's thousands of free pens. Here's the pen that we keep chained up to the desk. What? Ha, we've always done it this way. Want a pen? No thanks. Anyway, pen is every other Thursday. See you later. Uh, yeah, actually, wait. Um, Every other Thursday? Uh, I heard some companies are paying employees at the end of every day they work. But but we, we've always done it this way. Yeah, but every day at work, I'm earning money. Why do you get to hold on to it for two weeks before you give it to me? This is one of the reasons Americans pay banks billions of dollars in overdraft fees. I know. I mean, darn it, I know. Then even after... Throwing the pen was the funniest thing. I don't have the patience to watch through all of the... Tic TikToks are supposed to be quickly entertaining, like fast, not long. I'm not prepared to put all of my concentration to a long TikTok. It's a pizza wink. Wow, she's eating pizza on the street. Just like me. Hey, he's got a pizza too. Yeah, we're breaking convention. Gotta respect it. Big respect. If I'm hungry, I'm gonna have a taste. This guy knows what I'm talking she's about. She's gonna have indigestion. I'm gonna have indigestion. I'll give her a little wave. Oh, he's giving me a wave. I should give him a little wink. Hope he doesn't take it the wrong way. Nah, he knows it's a pizza wink. Oh uh, yeah, little pizza wink, classy. I'm on cloud nine, this is lovely. <laughs> I loved that for some reason. Just goofing around. It's totally okay to let your goofy side shine through. Anyway guys, speaking about this specific TikTok, I have a merch. Link is in the description. Wholesome humor, not cringe at all. But anyway guys, this was a video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget that I stream and there's a lot of amazing stuff happening on stream that you're missing out on. I'll see you next time guys. Bye!